by their fruits you will know them. Our faith is meant to bear fruit. But what's the fruit that Jesus is talking about? Let me ask you first, what do you think are the characteristics of a successful person by the world standards? How would you describe someone? How would you know that they're successful? Is it that they're rich? They live in San Marino or South Pasadena. They have two, three homes. Uh, they have their own business. They earn six figures a year. How do you measure that someone is successful? What are the fruits that you would look for in that person? Give it some thought, and I think we'll find out that people have different kind of fruits that they look for to determine if a person is successful. What about if a person is a disciple of Jesus Christ? What are the fruits that you expect to see in that person? And again, I think we might find people look for different things. There's different kind of fruits. But I think it's one thing essential for a good tree to be a good tree that bears good fruit is that tree has to be connected, rooted to the soil. And the soil that will help us to bear good fruit is God, our connection to God. No matter what kind of tree it is, without being rooted in good soil and being taken care of, it's not going to bear good fruit. And Jesus is the one who cares for the trees that God has planted. So the first thing I think is the characteristic or how we know someone is going to bear good fruit or bearing good fruit is what we heard in that first reading, what the king did. He said, go and consult the Lord. What should we do about this book that we found? We need to have that relationship, that connection with God. And we do it through prayer. Being a good tree that will lead good fruit means that we have to be seeking to do God's will, to know, God, to know God's will and then to do it. Sometimes we know God's will, but we choose not to do it. But sometimes we might do good things without really discerning, is this God's will for me? Is this what God is asking me to do in this situation? Knowing God's will and doing God's will, that's the characteristic of a person that we know will bear good fruit. If you have a tree planted in good soil and have someone taking care of that tree, you're almost assured that that tree will produce fruit and it'll be good fruit. But it's not going to happen if you don't have good soil. Where that's nutrients going to come from? What's going to help that tree to grow and be a tree that produces fruit? As we enter the summertime, hopefully things are a little slower for you. Uh, maybe you're going to go on a vacation or take some time off to relax. Maybe take some time and look at your prayer life. Are you connected to God? Are you seeking? Do you consult with God in those important decisions in your life? And are you saying yes to God's will when he speaks to you and tells you what to do? The king said, let's consult the Lord what we're going to do about this book. Then after that, he said, I promise to follow the law of the Lord, to do what this book, what's written in this book, to do God's will. That's how we can guarantee that we'll bear fruit. There's different kinds of fruits. We're all not going to bear the same fruit, but we will bearing the fruit that God intends us to produce.